Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Stufamism, the internet's leading failing YouTube channel uh, where we talk about all kinds of random stuff and sometimes play video games. Today we're going to be talking specifically about the Cat 8 cable though. And do you need it? What is it? Is it worth it? Is it overkill? Um, we're going to do some comparisons here in just a second. All right, so Cat 8 cable. Um, you know, recently I saw this article talking about 40 gigs per second and 2,000 megahertz speeds on this new Ethernet cable. Um, you know, I, I pay for gigabit internet here at the house and I get nowhere near the speed, so I thought, you know, could that make much of a difference? Right now I'm using a Cat 6 setup, a 50 foot long Cat 6 uh, from the router to my computer, and I'm using a Cat 6 from the router to the modem. I also have a built-in Wi-Fi, um, which you know seems to be not too too far off of the speed of this Cat6 cable. But I thought, you know, what better way of uh, finding out than just to run some tests? So you know, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be connecting this Cat8 cable and trying to get down to the bottom of is it is it really going to make that much of a difference? Um, so I'm going to run a series of tests um, on the top five different. Uh, speed testing websites. We're going to run it three times on each one for Wi-Fi for the built-in Wi-Fi that came with the motherboard. Um, we're going to run it three times each with the uh, Cat6 setup, and then we're going to replace both Cat6 cables with Cat8. So Cat8 from the modem to the router, and then Cat8 from the router to the computer, and we're going to see what we get. Um, now, keep in mind one thing: these speeds are nowhere near gigabit. So the fact that I'm paying for it is strictly for the upload, really, and the amount of devices I have in my home. It's pretty embarrassing, um, but you know you'll you'll get to see if there's really a difference or not, and that's kind of the main thing we're looking at here. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start a slide that I've created of the tests, and I'll go ahead and make myself disappear. So what is best? We've got the Wi-Fi Cat6 and Cat8. The first test that I ran was on the Wi-Fi. Now this came in the Hero 7 uh, Asus motherboard that I have. So, you know, you can you can see that my download speeds are, you know, nowhere near a gig. Upload speeds, you know, I was told I was supposed to get somewhere around 40. Um, you know, I'm averaging it at fast.com uh, and speedtest.net in the 30s. So, you know, nowhere close. You know, the final number's there at the bottom. You know, so you're looking at the total average of 81.95 uh, for the download, 23.53 for the upload, and a ping of around 25, which is actually pretty good because you know really anything under 50 is considered good. And uh, you know I haven't had any problems gaming with this. Um, so then you know I went ahead and tested that and went over into the Cat6 uh, setup. You can see that the numbers are a little bit better here. Like the downloads went up a little bit, the ping went down a little bit, and the upload even went up a little bit. But still, nothing remarkable, you know. Now I contribute some of this to the fact that we're using a 50-foot cable, and I have, you know, 14 or 15 devices connected through my router. So I didn't expect anything great, but still kind of aggravating to be paying, you know, promotional price or not, but to be paying for gigabit speeds and not getting anywhere near it. And so then I, you know, I ordered these um, Cat8 cables, and I'll link uh, the Amazon uh, links on here. When I'm done, but um, I ordered these two Cat8 cables and connected them, and this is what I got. Now, keep in mind, still, you know, nowhere near the gig, but what was interesting, um, and some of the max download speeds were right up there near a gig, but it's just not showing. I didn't show that. I'm, you know, I'm using average, but you can see a, a drastic difference in the download, and you can see a, a difference in the upload as well. So both of those went way up. The ping. Um, the ping got worse, um, worse latency, but I think that that could be partially due to the fact that we we're talking about an even longer cable. And when I was reading about Cat8, I did see where, you know, length was a, a problem with, with the highest of transfer speeds, but I was hoping with that 2000 megahertz speed, I, I thought maybe there would be a difference in latency there. Um, it doesn't seem like that happened, but still, you know, well within the, you know, good for gaming uh, spectrum. And then I just kind of compared everything at the end. So here's your final numbers. You can kind of see the breakdown. Um, you know, the, the download speeds were 292 
megabits per second better than Wi-Fi, 277 megabits per second better than Cat6. So it's pretty pretty huge jump. You know, it's a uh, got a 16 megabits per second, almost 17, uh, lead over the Wi-Fi on upload, and you know, a modest but still something six megabits per second leap over the Cat6. So those are that is real numbers there. Um, one one megabits per second slower uh, with or, or or worse with the with the latency, but than the Cat6. But I mean, still, I mean, really, that's hardly noticeable. So. I think kind of the end result here is what we're seeing is that the cable will make a difference and maybe on some people's setups and maybe with a shorter cable even you might see a much bigger difference. It would be you know great to hear and anybody else that's tried this and, and hear some comments and maybe maybe there was a better way of doing this. Um, but that's you know 15 speed test each you know uh, each you know cabling and you know got a, a decent average but it would be nice to know um, if there's anybody out there that's running, you know, a, a gigabit speed where they're actually getting those kind of speeds, and and you know, would be able to test that against the Cat Six uh, or maybe even a Cat Seven. You know, I'd, I felt like for the price difference between the Cat Seven and the, and the Cat Eight, I might as well go ahead and get a Cat Eight and, and check it out. Um, but you know, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And um, you know, if you guys like this video or want to want to see more videos like this, you know please let me know and and don't forget to subscribe thanks